All right, guys, we're back. This is part two. Um, we're going to look at trig tables and where the values of these um, uh, ideas of, of, of sine and cosine for different angle measures kind of comes from. All right, so what we want to do here is uh, we're going to load up the unit triangle. And again, the link to this document is provided um, with this video. Um, so load up the unit triangle. All right, so click on here. Or bring this guy up and what we want to do is we're looking for the measures of the sides of this triangle so we want to uh, click on the, the uh, sign okay and we're going to show its value all right and then we're also going to click on the cosine so I missed uh, it's actually going to be really hard to click on the cosine so we need to hide this guy first um, Let's use the more tool, show hide object. I'll make sure that line is hidden uh, here in the future. All right, so anyway, we're gonna click on this bottom one, okay, and show its value, so 0.499, all right? So once we have the, the sine and the cosine both visible, then what we can do is we can start making our trig tables. All right, so let's go back to our worksheet. And we wanna start with, um, uh, we'll start with the 30 degree angle, all right? Well, you know what? We're at the 60 right now, right? So we're at the 60 right now. Might as well start with the 60. All right, so the 60 degree angle, so this is pretty much 60, right? 0 0.05. Uh, it's really hard to be more accurate than this um, without measuring or doing it intentionally. So the sine is 0.866 and the cosine is 0.499. Now, I actually know that the cosine is 0.5, so we're going to write down 0.5 and the sign is actually 0.867 but that one's close enough this one is 0.5 okay so we can go into our worksheet then so the sign at 60 degrees was 0 0.866 all right and the cosine at 60 degrees was 0 0.5 okay okay there we go I'll come back to our unit circle um, and the next one I guess the next one we want is the 45 degree angle so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this all right value here we're gonna drop it down to as close to 45 as we can get that's pretty close all right so this is within uh, 0.026 uh, 27 0.027 units okay and notice that the sine and the cosine are the same 0 0.707 uh, 0 0.707 all right so we're going to come back here 45 is 0 0.707 now remember here we're not being precise so i know uh for those of you watching our actual math teachers you know these are not the actual sine cosine values um, because I did not measure a 45 degree angle, right? I measured a 44.973 degree angle. Um, so they're not going to be uh, exactly what your calculator will give you. But the idea is to, to get a feel for how a trig table is developed. All right, so 30 degree angle, all right? So if we measure a 30 degree angle, okay, move this down to 30, get it as close as we can get. If I move my cursor out further, it's actually easier to, to get closer. Ah, I had it really good there, but then uh, when I released the mouse, there. Okay, so notice we're at 0 0.866 and 0 0.5. So the sine is 0 0.5, whoops, and the cosine is 0 0.866. So the sine is 0.5. 0 0.5 and the cosine is 0 0.866 and now notice uh, what's happened here okay the table is reversed okay what is from sine to cosine little to big cosine is going big to little they're the exact same values the other thing that's really interesting here is that the sine cosine values for the 30 degree angle and the sine cosine values for the 60 degree angle are the same numbers just in different categories okay um, and the reason why this is true okay the reason why this is true 
is if I look at a right triangle, okay, if this is a 60 degree angle, okay, then this is a 30 degree angle. All right, so if I want the sine of 60, the sine of 60 and the cosine of 60, see, uh, but if I look at the 30 degree angle from the perspective of the 30 degree angle, all right, the sine is the short side and the cosine is the longer side. All right, but notice that they're the same, the same values, uh, because the 30 and the 60 are part of the same triangle. And so every trig table is like this, because every triangle from 0 to 90 degrees, the angle 0 to 90 degrees, um, the other angle is 90 minus that. Okay, so only half of the trig table will be unique, per se. Okay, all right. So let's finish this little one here uh, by looking at uh, the zero degree angle. So if I go to zero degrees, notice that there's no height, there's no sine. The sine is zero, the cosine is one. If I go to 90 degrees, all right, the sine is one, the cosine is zero. Okay, so at zero degrees, there is no sine. The cosine is one unit. And at 90 degrees, there is no uh, cosine. The sine is one unit. Okay. So uh, we would make a better uh, triangle, a better table, okay, by adding more angles here. So like all the angles between 0 and 30, um, and then even the, the fractions of angles that go between those. Okay. So um, the question here is, suppose we have a 30 degree triangle and its hypotenuse is 15 units long. How long are its legs? Okay, so if I make a quick sketch here. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. If I make a quick sketch here. Uh, so this guy's 30 degrees and the hypotenuse is 15, and I want to know the lengths of its legs, okay? So what I will do then is compare, right? This side is the sine, this side is the cosine. So I can write proportions, okay? Um, if I imagine the unit triangle, okay, if I imagine the unit triangle, one, the sine for 30 is 0.5, and the cosine for 30 is 0.866. So if I want to find the measure of x, sorry, that was my dog. I don't know if her, she's not feeling great. So x over point, x over 0.5, 15 over 1. Oops. And then y would be y over 0.866 and 15 over 1. Okay, so x is 15 times 0.5, y is 15 times 0.866. Um, and then you would be able to, you know, get your answer from there. I'll leave that as an exercise for the observer. Okay. All right. In our next video, we're going to talk about tangent ratios.